The recommended techniques for installing Diviner 2000 access tubes will ensure that an undisturbed representative soil profile is maintained. Again, refer to the manual for details, but remember that disturbances around the access tube, such as air gaps, backfilling holes, or rocky ground, will cause changes to the soil texture around the access tube and will affect the validity of the data collected. As we pointed out earlier, the access tube site must be representative of the crop water use requirements in the management area. The preferred method for installation of the access tube uses a stabilized leveled tripod to ensure the tube is installed vertically. This cutting edge is fitted to the bottom of the access tube to slice through the soil as the tube is driven in. Soil from the centre of the tube is gathered using one of several augers, depending on soil type. Once installed to the correct level, the tube is cleaned. A bottom stopper installed. And top cap fitted. In harder and rocky soils, Sentec has developed a slurry technique. A slightly oversized hole is augered first either by hand or by machine. A slurry is then made using a mixture of kaolinite, or potter's clay, grey cement and water, which is poured into the augered hole. The access tube, fitted with a bottom cap, is then lowered slowly into the partially filled hole. Any excess slurry can be chipped away after it has hardened. Diviner 2000 has inbuilt calibrations for several soil types listed in the user manual. Where there is a need to calibrate for a specific soil type, please refer to the recommended reading in the manual. Centec congratulates you on your purchase of Diviner 2000 and wishes you success with your new ability to more effectively manage your irrigation scheduling. Welcome to Precision Agriculture and say goodbye to guesswork.